Hello and welcome to the San Siro here in Milan, home to two of Italy's grandest clubs, AC Milan and Internazionale. And our live game is AC Milan against Arsenal. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Begley. Hi everyone, and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. be the quickest midfielder around but he compensates for that with his superb reading of the game and excellent probing passes yes he'd be my pick too it's going to be all about how they get the best out of him Alex puts his foot on the gas forward it goes now it's Balotelli there's no flag he's scored and some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on and we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more he really does look at it Balotelli just stayed on the right side of the defender there I thought he showed wonderful patience great experience to just make sure he didn't drift offside and I just thought all around it was very intelligent play Milan ahead one goal to the good he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. He hits it! Straight at the keeper. Ramsey would have known he needed to generate more power behind that, but it just lacked the precision anyway. Kuczka. And it's Abate. Milan are very much in charge here. Dominating possession and a goal to the good. Antonelli. He's onside. Nicely controlled. Kuczka! All the balls come loose. Sticks it away. Disappearing out of sight. Czech did well the first time. Nothing he could do about the follow-up. Yeah, his instinct told him that the keeper would struggle to cope with that. So, top marks for him following up. I think um, it's really sharp play. It was well read. And he was a little quicker than everybody else. Milan take a two-goal lead. And things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out surely they'll manage one or the other Alex and he has been fouled there Antonelli Montalivo Abate Bertolacci Milan are leading with half time drawing close Antonelli keeps everyone guessing point blank header 
And he's there to make a great save. Keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. He put on quite a show there. I would agree. Uh, it's tremendous play. He's full of belief and imagination and hard to contain. They are rampant. And already they're looking to run away with it. Well, how's that for a class finish? I just thought he knew exactly what he was doing by feigning to move one way and then readjusting back. Control trickery. Milan take a three-goal lead and they... And that'll be the last act of the first half. It's looking very much like game, set, and match. A half of ruthless endeavour with a thirst for more. Just in case you think this is bias on my part, it isn't. This is fact. Milan are cruising it at half-time, 3-0 ahead. Oxlade-Chamberlain, oh, that's a real stopper, he's put an end to the threat. Kabati. And it's Bonaventura, Bonaventura looks towards the front, a chance! He's off on a marauding run. Tremendous from Carlos Baca. Results no longer in doubt. It's just about how many. An exhibition in how to finish with a minimum of fuss. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's looked a threat. Milan tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Back up. Takes control of it and he's on the move. Looking to force his way through. Bonaventura. Monreal demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Yeah, it wouldn't have been the most eye-catching goal we'd seen. Ultimately, the numbers prevented him from scrambling it in. Coaxed out to the wing. Monreal plays it in. Up he gets! Hector Pellerin. Montalivo goes long and forward. And now they can launch a counter. Looks like a good ball through. Bonaventura. Keeper always had the measure of that. Well, that's the kind of break that can do a lot of damage. It just lacked the finish to be a great counter-attack and strike. It was so direct. Gets up to head it! And in it goes! And again, they pile on the misery. Well, I wasn't expecting them to go this big, Peter, but they have been superb. Four in the game, he is the man. Milan totally rampant here. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Cochlear battles to win it back. Well back. And back to the keeper. Oh, great chance! And a goal! Devastating. I mean, that's the only word you can use to describe that. That kind of breaking power is absolutely devastating. That was fantastic to watch. Arsenal grab a goal, but it's hard to see it as anything much more than a consolation. Abate boots it upfield. And it's the goalkeepers to claim. Walcott. Oh, he's come flying in. Walcott has got himself a free kick. Well, 
Balotelli. With the ball through. Now it's Baka. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. He's away. Oh, almost a sixth. Cazorla pumps it forwards. And that is the last effort of the game. Milan, winners of a no contest. They just swamped their opponents in superior quality. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Milan were given a fantastic boost with their early goal and the edge.